Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, if you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a um, Christmas wish list video. I've been wanting to do this video. I've been watching a lot of these videos. And it's like, it basically you can give people ideas of what they might want or if somebody asks them. You know, people ask you what you want for Christmas or something that you can't even really think of or know that you even want because you just don't know about it. This video is for you. I have put down a list of things that I do want, that I personally want, and then stuff that I think would be a good gift for somebody. I've been seeing a lot of videos, and the videos that I've been watching, I got some of the ideas from those videos, because some of that stuff is actually suitable for me, and I actually would want something like that. Yeah. So, let's get into the video. So, first thing I have on my list is the world record by Lorve. Lorve is obviously, if you do not know, it's Deara Taylor's um brand and she has been doing it like she been eating down and i'm just now becoming a sunglass girl i don't own a lot of pairs of sunglasses but i do want to grow my um sunglass collection i think i got like two pairs of sunglasses that's actually like really really few that i actually would really wear this is a pair that i've been looking at since they dropped and i really do want them so the next thing that i want is a small black tail bar okay now, y'all already know I'm a part of the Tell Feezy community. I got two. No, three. I got two small ones, and then I got one big one. Well, one medium. You'll probably see one right there. Yes. I I, 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 I mess with Tell Bar. Every time I try to get the black one, it be sold out, or I just can't get it. Like, I'm not, I can't get it. Third thing that I have on my list is Skims. Okay? Now, I have the Sangria color and the bone color and Gria is so cute like that color is super cute and I don't even know if she always have that color or if that's a seasonal color I really don't know but that color is just too cute I would really wear that that's like I feel like that would look good on my skin color hello but um yeah sangria color is super cute i think that um will complement my skin really really well um the other color that i picked is bone it's like a white but it's like probably i well i've never seen it in person before but the way that i think that it looks is like um a cream color and i've been seeing it on girls and people wearing it and it looks too cute like i really want that the next thing i have on my list is 2R protection pack rain cloud new balances of course I don't call it that but I'm just reading what the link said you actually can see the picture those shoes are like so cute I think the first time I seen those shoes was on TikTok next thing I got is gray cotton tank and leggings um, from essentials I seen this it says gray, but it looks green, like an olive green. So that's what I'm assuming that it's gonna be. But it does say gray, so if I get it and it's gray, I can't be mad because it said gray. Picture, as you can see, it looks green. But I really like this set. I can um, pair this with something. And I think I got some shoes that would match with that, and that would be like a really cute outfit, like a summer outfit, obviously. But you know. And now we're gonna get into Mari Jacobs, y'all. I tell you, when I tell you I'm a Mark Jacobs fan, like, I'm going to ride it after Marc Jacobs, no matter what. I don't care. I own a couple things by Marc Jacobs, but everything that Marc Jacobs drops that I see on the website, I want it. It's the J. Marc shoulder bag. Cloud white and bronze gray. Yes, I want both of them. That bag is too cute. I do have a snapshot bag. I have two snapshot bags, and I showed y'all before in one of my videos. I know I did. Um... I have two snapshot bags. It's kind of similar to that, but it's like a round. We all can see the picture. But it's kind of similar to that. But I really, really like that bag. And that's really, really cute. And the last time I looked on the website, I didn't see that. So they got to be new or something. I couldn't choose between the, the cloud white one and the green one. But I want them both. And usually sometimes stuff like the cloud white color um, sells out really fast. I have a cloud white um, snapshot bag. That bag, like that color, sells out in a lot of different, 
um, stuff like their wallets and stuff like that. That's like a really trendy color. So that's, uh, that's why I put the green one too, because I like that one too. I don't want to make it like, I just like, only like that color, if you know what I'm saying. So, yes, that is that big. Yeah, them bags right there. They just, they just look so good. And I feel like they suit me. Like, I'm not a grown woman yet, but I'm not a little girl. If you know what I'm saying. I'm a young woman. And I feel like that is a really a young woman bag. Like, that is so... Nah, I'm not even gonna get into it. The next thing is by Marc Jacobs, too. And it's a snapshot compact wallet. Now, it's basically that. It looks just like my snapshot bag. The um, cloud white that I was just talking about. It's just a wallet that goes with it. So, it's like really, really tiny. And it's a wallet, and I don't think that it's like a, like, the wallet that I have, let me show y'all my wallet. It's right here, sitting on the bed. This is my wallet that I have now. This is what all my stuff is at. But that wallet is really small, so I thought it was a card holder, because that's what it kind of looks like. Because it's, like, nothing can really fit in it, but I think it's only for, like, cards, and you can slap some cash in there or whatever. So it's probably not, like, a big old wallet. I'm assuming because of the way the picture looks, it looks really thin or whatever. But, I don't care. I just want that wallet. That, that looks really good. And it matches my purse that I got. So, if I want to wear that purse, I can wear my wallet when I take out the space on it. Take it out and then, you know, and then, you know. Next thing I got is Teddy Joggers by Marc Jacobs. It's an all black shoe, so you could pair it with anything. Put some pink ones on there that I've seen. And, um, if you don't know, I'm a pink girl, so I like pink. So I was gonna put them on there, but I'd rather have the black ones than the pink ones. I didn't want to just put everything on my list that I could go for. Like I want to put stuff on here that I actually would actually want. And so I rather prefer the black ones over the pink ones. But the pink ones are cute though. Next thing is a mini King Kensington Kirk bag. I don't know if I'm saying this right. I'm just sounding it out, but I think I am. But I want the black one. When I first seen this bag, it was on Instagram. It was an Instagram ad. And then it's like eventually I started seeing people wearing them like on Instagram, like on their pictures and stuff like that. And I was just like, what is this bag? Like, and I was trying to figure out, because usually brands, they don't only have purses, they'll have other stuff too. They're like they have shoes, they have shirts, they have it's a brand, like they don't have other stuff. So I'm trying to figure out like if I see something that I know that I seen something before that is by them that I just didn't know it was by them. So I'm looking at the list and I have never seen none of their stuff. Like I've never heard of it, nothing. So I was like, this bag is really cute. And this one I think is the most expensive one because it's all black. And usually all black bags, I don't know if for some reason cost more because the Mark Jacobs um snapshot bag, the all black one, it's like a hundred dollars more than the other snapshot bags, like the other colors. I don't know why I like that, but it's like the all black bags which is cost so much more but this one cost a little bit more all the other bags i've seen like three other bags that was like the same size and everything but just different colors and i think it was like 65 to 75 dollars so yeah but i like it the all black one it's another one that's like a colorful one i think y'all probably know what i'm talking about but a lot of people have that and that's when i first seen that bag and i was just like i like the bag but the colors is like they're not bright enough for me they too shiny i don't, I don't know <sighs> next thing is Cloud by Ariana Grande perfume. Now, when I tell you, I've never smelled this before, and it's hard to ask for perfume for Christmas or anything like that because if you never smelled it before, because you don't know if you're gonna like it or not. So, perfume is kind of like a thing that you buy for yourself, or somebody buys for you that they know you, they know what kind of smell you like and stuff like that. But they, I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of research on ariana grande's perfume because i have a perfume by ariana grande i forgot what it's called it's over there but it's um on the bottom of the bottle but i have a perfume by ariana grande it smells really good i really like the smell and a lot of people they been doing reviews on it and they be saying that it's a little bit lighter smell of baccarat and i know what baccarat smells like i don't own it but my mom does she wears baccarat and so i've smelled it before and it smells really good baccarat is delightful it's a grown woman scent and like i said i'm not a grown woman yet it's a grown woman scent but they were saying that the um the ariana grande cloud is like a little bit not as strong as baccarat but it comp it is kind of like it's similar to baccarat okay 
looks like a little bit more calm i feel like that's what people have been saying every review that i watched i watched like six reviews on this because i really wanted to invest i really want to get this perfume okay like i really put thought into this perfume so people that's been saying that has been saying it smells like breath fresh it's like a little bit you know calmer scent so i want to try that i think i'm not I'm, i think i'm gonna like it i don't think i won't like it next thing i have on my list is brazilian bum bum cream if you don't know what this is, then that name probably sounds crazy to you. I said the same thing. My mama had some Brazilian bum bum cream, and I didn't know what it is. I'm like, Brazilian bum bum cream? What's wrong with your booty? I tell y'all, Brazilian bum bum cream is like the best. So I have some. It's almost gone. Let me show y'all. I have some right here. This is a small bottle. I bought this maybe a year ago. I don't I try not to use so much of it because it was such a tiny little bottle and I still have some left in here but it smells so good and the smell lasts on you for so long I complimented on my smell when I wore this for about like six times and I know it's at least six times that I've got this compliment in my smell or somebody asked me like what perfume do you have on and it's a lot of time what I haven't wore I don't I don't wear perfume with this because you don't need to and it's been times that I just, like the first few times that I wore it, I just put this on like as lotion. Cause it's good for you. And it was like, it was good for you. And it just smells so good. And the smell lasts on you forever. Like you could take a shower in the morning, put that on, and be out all day. You would still smell it. Like it would just smell so good. This little bitty bottle, I want to say it was about almost $30. Big one, it cost it almost $50. It was like $48 something. If, I have the big one on the screen, so you'll be able to see the price. But it's definitely worth the money. And then I think they got a little kit, and they got, um, like, the oils and stuff like that. Um, I never tried their oil or nothing like that. But I'm pretty sure that it's, it's bomb because the lotion is. So I want some more of that. The next thing I got is Sparkling Heart Snake Chain Bracelet. This is from Pandora, I think. I think I, I think it is, yeah. It's from Pandora. I have a Pandora bracelet, but I don't wear it because I have no charms on it, and I have no, and it's really dirty, and it's real old, and it's time for me a new one. Pandora came out with new bracelets now, so it's like a little bit more updated now. So the bracelets I have, I don't think they make no more, and so it's like really old, and so I just don't have no bracelets. Like, I don't have no bracelets on and I own like gold braces and stuff like that, but I don't have nothing that I can keep on on my arm all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like a, just a bracelet that you wear all the time. I don't have one. And so I really want that bracelet. And the next thing I got, iPad Pro. Now, y'all, I'm not trying to seem like I'm spoiled or anything. Because I have an iPad. I have iPad Pro on here and plus the Apple Pencil that comes with it. But... I have an iPad, okay? But as y'all know, I have a YouTube channel. And so when you edit, I edit on my iPad. And I don't have a MacBook or anything like that. Um, I do want a MacBook, but I feel like if I get this iPad, it will be a substitute of a MacBook. I feel like you don't need an iPad and a MacBook. But like the iPad that I have now, it's like an older one. It's not the newest iPad. It's like, a, I don't even know what this is, but it's something air. So if it says air on it, then you know this old kind of not ungrateful or anything. No, I've been had this iPad, and then I use this iPad for school. Meaning, like I take my iPad, we take our iPads to school every day. Like all of our books, all of our notes, all of everything is on our iPad. Like we use our iPad for school. So it's kind of hard juggling schoolwork and my YouTube stuff on this ipad because it doesn't have a lot of storage and stuff like that and so yeah so i have an apple pencil too but i really originally bought that for school but i just put the apple pencil on the, this ipad pro because um the apple pencil that i have now won't work with the ipad pro so that's why i put that on there but i really do want the ipad pro i think that it's like that's a really nice ipad and i see people at school and they have it and it's like um the one that i want is like the big one like the big old screen it looks like a tv like it's super duper big and i think that's like the 16 inch i think i don't know i think it is but i think that but it's really really good the stores the updates that it has all of that and then i feel like that would make my editing and stuff very much easier even though my editing is 
Like, my editing is not bad, but I feel like it would expand my horizon if I had a new iPad or a MacBook. But I really do like that iPad. Next thing I got on my list is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. This is a camera that I have been thinking about looking at. And I think that I am actually am getting this for Christmas because I've had this conversation with my mama and my daddy. And it's really for my YouTube, so it's like an investment that will actually that I actually do need. And so I think I am because she's been telling me to send her links and stuff for um cameras and stuff like that. So I think this is something that I am gonna end up getting. But I just want to put this on the video because I really do like this camera, and I haven't been able to go and see it in the store, actually see it. But I've been doing a lot of research on this camera. It's a Mark II and a Mark III. And I think the Mark II is more compatible for what I have going on, like, with my YouTube channel, what kind of videos I'm making. And with the price range, I feel like um, the Mark II is better. For a starter's camera, for me, I feel like this would be really compatible. And a lot of the YouTubers that I do watch, like, just on the regular that I watch, they use this camera for a lot of things. And it's, like, really high quality and really good. So I really want this camera. So... I'll do when I when, if I do get the camera, I'll do a separate video on the camera showing y'all everything and how I set it up and stuff like that. Cause I still gotta learn about it. I don't know anything, but I will do a video on it when I get it. Next thing I have is her by Bear, Burberry perfume. Now I know what I just told y'all about not to ask for a perfume if you don't know what it smells like. But I feel like it smells good. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it smells like. But I feel like it smells good. And I did some research on it, and everybody been saying it smells like. And they've been saying like it's giving, you know, fresh young lady vibes. And it's just a, you know, something that I think I want to add on to the collection. And I am starting to finally um, grow my luxury perfume collection because y'all already know i'm a bath and body works girl i got all them back if you can't see them they're back there so i'll wear a bath and body works perfume but i'm kind of expanding my luxury perfumes collection next thing i got is some is land van slides when i tell y'all land the land van slides these are super super cute when i first heard about land van i seen the gym shoes the gym shoes they look they look like the slides but they look crazy i don't know i was just like they look crazy but i feel like they look crazy on people that got big feet if you a girl you got big feet don't come for me but i feel like they just don't look right on people with big feet they just look too big and bulky and the same thing about balenciagas i feel the same exact way and it's not even the Balenciaga track. The, the Balenciaga tracks are really cute. Even if your feet big, I think I think they're cute. But them other ones, I don't know what they call. Because I never thought about buying them. But they like real big and they like got that thick. Um, it's like it looks squishy. That, that thick sole around the bottom of it. It's like real big bulky. And boys be wearing them. And they, you know boys be having big feet. And they just be like. Uh, I'm gonna I'm see if I can. I'm gonna put a picture on it. So I'm gonna put a picture right here so you can see it, what I'm talking about. Because if you don't, you need to know what I'm talking about. It's the kind of vibes that Land Van Gypsy was giving me. But I was grown into it and, and I seen that um, people wear them when they got smaller feet or whatever. They look actually really cute. So I feel like they would look cute on my feet because I have small feet. But people that got the big feet, it just ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Um, but that's the point. The slides, the slides are really, really cute. I think the slides are cute. And I will wear those. In the summertime, I would, I would definitely wear those. So, next thing I got is Bliss Sherpa. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Champagne Toast Candle. I do have um, Champagne Toast. I have the perfume. I got the body wash. I got the body scrub. I got all of that. The candle that I think that smells really good to go in my room. I think that's a really good gift. Like, if you give me a candle that smells really good, like that's... I love that. That's, I, I, that's just, I like that. Um, next thing is Bliss Sherpa Blanket by Ugg, the pink one. Um, my mama got an Ugg blanket. It's real, real soft, and it's so, it's, it's so soft. Like, I love that blanket. I want this one because it's pink, and I feel like it'll look good in my room. And it's just because it's, it's just um next thing i have is a peony crossbody by coach this is like a greenish type bag it has what well, has green accents accents and it's so 
cute. And y'all, if you sleeping on coach, then do that. I love coach. My grandma gets me a new coach purse maybe every birthday. Those purses are not out of style, and even if they are, I don't care, I will still wear them. I have, like, maybe about four or five coach purses. I love coach purses. That coach purse, I don't want it. Um, the last thing that I have on my list, this is probably really random, don't got nothing to do with what I've been talking about, but I want these floating bookshelves. Um, I've been talking about floating bookshelves, um, since I moved. And it's really because I don't have no bookshelf or nothing. And my room is not super duper big. And I feel like the, the floating bookshelves are pretty convenient for me. Because, um, you know, they can be up on the walls. You see the picture, but they can be up on the walls. And the books can be stacked in there. And I feel like that will just, like, save up some space. And I really appreciate that. I don't, I don't know. I'm really, I really put that in there for my parents. so Because when they watch this video, they want to see that. That's right. Yeah, I put that in there for them. But I feel like I wanted to put in a video because that's a that's a good room DIY thing you do or something. I don't know. But yeah, I really want those, and I feel like they'll give the room some personality. And I, I wouldn't only put books on there. I would put like you know maybe some antique stuff to make my room give my room some personality. If you know what I'm saying. This is a list of 26 items that I put on my list. I could put more, but I didn't. I'm just putting stuff the bare minimum, stuff that I actually realistically want. That's all I got for this video today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, videos will be coming soon. All of the links um, of everything that I put up on the screen, everything that I talked about, those links will all be in my description. So if you do want to actually go there and actually want to purchase them or look at them, you can just look at my description and it will be all listed and i'm gonna make sure i put them all in order of everything that i talked about so yeah and then yeah y'all that's all i got for this video today i hope y'all enjoyed watching this video um like comment share subscribe and let me know what other videos y'all want to see so yeah, bye.